We'll start first by drawing an object. We have to remember that a drawn object is just an illusion. In this one we have an isometric drawing of what appears to be a three-dimensional object that's solid and straight. You can see the top, bottom, and side. Now I can draw another object that looks like it is overlapped by this first object or behind it. In life, if one thing blocks seeing another, it is because it's in front of it and you can't see through it to see the object. Here, by the line stopping as they hit this first object, this object looks like it's behind this object because the lines or the shapes drawn here for this object block or appear to block this object behind it. It doesn't really. It's apparent overlapping, but it's not really overlapping. Now I'll make the first object a little more complex. Now we'll put an object behind it again and see how that looks. Again, because the first shape seems to block the second shape, it appears to be in front of it. This shape kind of looks like a C. But what if we made it an E by adding another, another arm to it? If we wanted this other arm to go underneath this second object, we'd need to make it look like it bent so that visually it would work. Now this kind of looks right. It looks like something you might see in real life. But it's a drawing, so we don't have to follow the rules. Let's look at another way to do this last arm, so it still looks like it's underneath this one, which is underneath these two, but is drawn a different way. Here it is again, only it doesn't look right. Following all our drawing rules, these look like very straight, solid things. But this one overlaps this one, so it looks like it's in front. This one is overlapped by this one, but it looks like it's in back. And this one, again, is in front of this one. But if they're all straight coming off this bar, these three should be at the same level. Therefore, it's impossible. And the impossible was produced only by where your lines stopped and started in this drawing. Let's take this a step further and deal with letters. Here's a block letter A and it has some depth to it because it's drawn kind of an isometric and it looks very solid and rigid. Here I've added the other two letters to spell the word art. Notice I've drawn them so the A seems to be on top of the R which seems to be on top of the T. This is done again by apparent overlapping. Now let's look at one part of this and see how we can change it. Here we see where the A overlaps the R. But by merely changing which lines stop and start when they hit other lines, all of a sudden the top of the A appears to be on top of the R on this side, but behind it and then this one. The way the A is drawn, it looks like a solid piece of material. Then, moving down to where it used to cross the T, the A is back in front of the T, but then goes behind the R. But also notice, the T now is behind the A, but it's in front of the R. So it's all a matter of how you switch it around. Here we have the three letters woven together 
with them going over and under each other in a way that if they were solid could not happen in real life, but because it's a drawing, they can be. A suggestion when doing this kind of drawing, notice the A is a little larger than the R and is up a little bit. The T is a little smaller and it's a little lower. So if they get lower and get a little smaller, in some dimensions that helps you get your overlapping done. Here I've done it with my initials. See if you can do it with yours.